This is Vandana Valia from Vichali Events, and I would like to invite you to come celebrate Diwali with us this year in Chicago on November 15th at the magnificent Stan Mansion. We are going to have a Bollywood blowout celebrating all things Indian for a great cause, helping kids with Down syndrome. Not to miss DJ Rekha flying in from New York, spinning on light. Be there. Immediately when they took her out, they told my husband, and I could see something was not right. And then he came over and whispered, you know, they think she has Down syndrome. And when I looked at her, I'm like, no, she looks like a squishy baby. There's no way. When she was born, the second she came out, we was told she had Down syndrome. You know, it was a bit shocking, a bit surprising. My first reaction was, um, oh my God, you know, you know, something was wrong with my kid. I was devastated, you know, very hurt. Um, very scared and then they told us and everything collapsed it was a lot of tears a lot of fear cuando yo escuché al pediatra decir su niño es con síndrome down yo sentí una cubeta de agua caliente que recorrió todo mi cuerpo y yo lo miré al niño y dije pero por qué dios mío por qué por qué él yo también lo yo había trabajado con niños pero Conocimos a Gigi y yo cuando entré y miré las fotos de los niños y todos haciendo diferentes cosas, yo dije, Ali puede hacer todo. Welcome to Gigi's Playhouse. Today we're going to take you on a little tour. All of Gigi's Playhouse look a little bit different, but they all have the same components. People always ask us, what is that magical feeling? What's that hug, that feeling that you get when you walk inside of Gigi's Playhouse? And that's what we want to show you today. Right now it's really quiet here, which it normally never is. We're going to try to capture some of that spirit today in pictures and in video of what happens every day at a playhouse. Here we are in a Gigi's Playhouse couch. The couch is kind of a magical place. It's where a new family comes and sits and just begins to embrace their diagnosis. They see the other families that are here who lead a normal life, and they see that they can do this. They see that their children will learn to read. That's something you don't hear a lot about at the birth. At the birth, it's a very scary time, and you hear most of the negatives. Here, you can kind of sit down and see the positive side of Down syndrome. When I finally worked up the courage to come to Gigi's, it was the best thing that I probably have experienced. I like to say it was like a party atmosphere, that it was just like a big celebration. A new family coming in and just feeling welcome, and um, I could have come in probably with two heads and it would have been okay because they just looked at everything like this was how it was supposed to be. And if, if we didn't have that support, um, I don't know where we would be because to us, Gigi's is part of our family now. It took me about six months to, to get over it, to deal with it, and then after that, I started attending Gigi's. And here we have our learning rooms. We have both a literacy and a math program designed to teach individuals with Down syndrome reading and math. We have custom-made materials that we use to teach, and we do one-on-one -on -one tutoring with the kids, which is absolutely amazing. Children with Down syndrome learn to read differently, and when you teach them the way they learn, the results are incredible. In the house. On the house, right. Here we are over in our therapy area. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. We incorporate all of that into all of our programming at Gigi's Playhouse. Physical therapy, we have a walkers program that help the children learn to walk. We have a crawlers program that assist the children in, in crawling. For most kids, this just comes second nature. For children with Down syndrome, because they have the low muscle tone, they need some extra help with that. 
we have over 25 programs, all free to our families. We just had a mom come in the other day that they couldn't afford to go and get private therapy. So she was able to come to Gigi's for her child that was free of charge and get the therapeutic and educational programs that her child so desperately needs. The stage is such a big piece of Gigi's Playhouse. It's one of my favorite parts. The kids and adults with Down syndrome get up on the stage, they act, they read, they sing, they dance. It may just be six inches off the ground, but when they get up on top of there, they're on top of the world. They take that confidence out into the community and they show people what people with Down syndrome are made of. Hi, my name is Brenna and I'm on the board of directors for Gigi's Playhouse. And one of the programs that we do here is called Friday Friends. Friday Friends is also about meeting new people and meeting new friends. Here we have our resource area. This is a great place for parents to go and find out new current information on what's going on in the Down Syndrome world outside of Gigi's Playhouse. The donor wall is a very important piece of Gigi's Playhouse. Not just to recognize our amazing donors, but for our families to see that corporate America sees the potential in our children and wants to help us share it with the world. We support Gigi's Playhouse because it's our hope that one day there will be a Gigi's Playhouse within driving distance of every family that has a child with Down syndrome. We want them to be greeted with a warm smile and a welcoming hug and to know that they're not alone. And we really admire the story behind Gigi's Playhouse. Um, it wasn't founded with the help of a big endowment or national exposure or a Hollywood celebrity behind it. It was founded by Nancy and Paul and moms and dads just like them who rather than feel sorry for themselves rolled up their sleeves and created this fantastic place, uh, which not only benefits the children, but tries to change the world's perception of Down syndrome. As you can see, all playhouses may look a little different, but they're all built on the same components. The couch for acceptance, the literacy rooms for education, the PT areas to get that therapy in, our resource area, which is for our families to empower them and give them the knowledge they need to help their child, the donor wall, which is all about recognizing our donors, but also letting the family see that donors like Coke and McDonald's, they support us. And the stage, all about self-esteem and taking that self-esteem and bringing it out into the community. Now you've seen what happens at the front part of a playhouse. Let's take you behind the scenes a little bit and talk about our national awareness campaigns. I get calls weekly from people wanting to know how they can get a playhouse in their community. And after opening seven playhouses in seven years, we've really been able to perfect our organizational structure and create a replicable model that ensures that each playhouse, when they open their doors, they will be successful. I have a four-year-old niece, and when she was born, they, we did not know that um, she would have Down syndrome. And after she had all her surgeries, we would go to Hoffman, and I was like, this place is just awesome. I live in McHenry, and to take her there is just too far for me. So I started looking into this area and found that we had a large need for it. That's where it started that I wanted one in our community. They are a part of a much larger organization, a much bigger picture. Um, when donors support a local playhouse, they know that they have the backing of the national office. They know that this is a very sound organization, both financially, structurally, and programmatically. Our traveling gallery and our national awareness calendars are two of our national awareness campaigns that are replacing outdated perceptions with up-to-date pictures of what Down syndrome is. I can't believe the amazing things we've done and the budget that we've had. I can't believe the growth that we've had. There's, there's a higher level we can take this to. There's more that we can be doing, and it's really based on believing, believing in our kids, believing in the families. It's these you know, amazing parents that are coming and building playhouses across the country because they believe in their children. Gigi's is a second home to me. It's where Evan can come, and he's not judged based on how many chromosomes he has. He's not judged on what he can and can't do. He is loved for who he is. It's very important, I think, for the world to see that they are just as important. And I think that's why Gigi's is a good organization to support, because they're trying to bring awareness to something that shouldn't be so secretive or not talked about or hidden away because these are people who are a part of our community and always will be and it shouldn't be any different from that for them than it is for anyone else. I love Gigi's because um, I, love being, I love being a member and um, 
I um, I still want to be a role model for the kids and for the parents, and I want to like show the parents that I can um, work hard, be educated, and have a better future. And these families have so many other things to worry about that I really think it's up to us to help them out um, so that this Gigi's Playhouses can be everywhere and accessible to everyone. Miramos a uh, en Gigi's podemos mirar niños más grandes, como dijo mi esposo, y los dos siempre que vemos a uno vestido de karateka, que vemos y decimos, así va a ser Ali, eso va a ser Ali. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eso es lo que nos permite Gigi's mirar a Ali en un futuro.